All right, guys, it is time. It is finally time for me to check out the workshop for space creations. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. I have typed in space into the workshop. And I think the space update has been out for a little while now. So you guys have had plenty of time to uh, submit all your builds to the workshop. So let's see a handful I have picked from the community. All right, this first one, we have the Mars Explorer by View Aqua. This thing already looks awesome. And the first thing I can see is it has distance sensors. And I'm thinking, is that because I'm facing the carrier here? Ah, you see that? I knew it. It has like auto landing gear. Okay, that's cool. No, shift is up. Left control is down. Okay, there's quite a few controls to get through. I'm assuming we have yaw, right? Yes, we do. Nice. Oh, wow, that is a lot of laser power. Where are all the lasers in this thing? Oh, I can see them. They're like inside. Oh, nice. Okay. We also have Z. Oh, that's the shield. And we have some large cannons underneath too for that extra explosive damage. And I'm assuming uh, left alt is reverse. Yeah. And then space is forward which is a toggle actually okay that's interesting all right let's test this bad boy out let's see this mars explorer in action we want to try and get to dune right there's no mars in the space bound but dune is probably the closest to mars oh we got some enemies though i'm gonna take out these enemies first i'm gonna try out this large cannon oh <laughs> damn it seems to be quite a drifty build in space Probably needs uh, some more quantum rudders, or at least strengthening them up a little bit. But other than that, this thing is awesome. Should we go in for a landing on Doom? I think we should. All right, I want to turn off my engines now. Uh-oh, uh-oh, okay, what's happening? Uh-oh. I think we just had a major skill issue there when we hit atmosphere. <laughs> okay, not too bad. As long as we control it, we should be able to land this thing. There we go. Landing gear has engaged. And I think it auto-stabilized right there, yeah. I think it was specifically made for Dune as well, in mind. And touchdown. There you go. Oh, that was so smooth. I'm really impressed by this. <laughs> yeah, props to you, Aqua. This is a very, very cool spaceship. Let's see what we have next. All right, next up we have Pixel Avionics CSAF-02 Zeta by Pixelodl. I don't think it's based off anything. Kind of looks very Star Wars-y, but uh, it's one of his own imagination creations. I always love a good build off Pixel Auto. He always makes really detailed things. Like, we even have rocket engines in here. No way. What? That's a piston. Yeah, there you go. And then he has a little decal inside the engines too. That's so cool. All right, okay. Let's see if we can get this thing flying. So we have X. Is X like a hover mode? Oh, no. I think X is to turn on this... Um, the gyro stabilizers. Yeah, okay. Look at this thing. Okay, let's go. All right, shift. We have EMPs. Okay, cool. That's good to know. Once we get in space, this thing should be a little bit more stable, right? Yeah, there you go. All right, what does control do? Oh, shield. Of course, it has a shield. Now, this is definitely what we need to take on those pirates. So, let's go over there. Yep, okay. Oh, that's a, that's a piece of shrapnel. No! <laughs> Just had to take a little respawn there, guys, because I just crashed. I've also just turned on invincible characters. This is the best way to test a spaceship in combat, especially if it's uh, an armed spaceship, you know? Nice, we took them out. Let's head home. This is a cool spaceship, Pixelotl. You did a good job here, dude. All right, let's see what's next. And of course, we have the, a legendary Metalberg creation. This is the MB XO3 Astro Burger. And uh, it's literally a burger. It's a spaceship burger. Like, what more could you ask for, really, in life? The space is to go up. Whoa. Whoa, what's going on here? I just pressed space once, guys, and it's doing its own thing. It's flying. Okay, I guess all I need to do is steer. Oh, shift is like the gyro stabilization. Nice. And then control is the mighty burger shield. I like it. This this has no lasers. This is all large cannons. Okay, interesting. To be fair, that's pretty OP in space. Do we have a first person view? Because a lot of the time, Metal Burger puts a first person in. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Look at this thing, dude. He's even put like decals on the actual glass. Okay, maybe... <laughs> Maybe it's harder than I thought. Oh, I hit somebody. 
I probably think the coolest thing is this giant, like, spinning gear, whatever, inside this burger. Like, all the cheese that's spinning. Oh, he used helicopter engines. That's why they're spinning so fast. That's pretty smart. Good job, dude. Okay, up next, we have the YF-66 by Leaf. Dude, we do have a lot of controls. This is ridiculous. T Q F E G H C. Like, what? Oh, the camera controls. Oh, V is for VTOL. Okay, I think we figured out the main controls. It seems to be a very common theme of all these spaceships. Like, X is like a vertical stabilization. It's the gyro stabilizer. So I press X, it'll stable me out level. And that's a common theme in all of these builds so far. Is that the exclusive key bind <laughs> for gyro stabilization? Oh, this one does have a lot of firepower. I also like the shape of this shield. <laughs> it fits perfectly with the spaceship. Okay, we've got tons of speed. I think we can take this all the way to hull room. A custom made cockpit right there. Okay, we're here at uh, hull room. I think I might be going a little fast. I don't know how to slow down. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh god! Ah! I broke it! Okay, dude. <laughs> Oh, okay. So I just teleported to the spawn point and it spawned in with this VTOL hover mode already activated. So it, obviously that distance sensor activated that. Oh, it might be an altitude sensor. My bad. Whoa, 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 uh oh, uh oh, this is, oh, oh, no. Okay, I'm still figuring out the controls, guys. So this is not a skill issue, I promise. Well, this is a very cool build indeed. Let's see what we have next. Okay, I think this is iconic. We have a X-Wing. I had to pick an X-Wing. There's no way I wasn't going to pick a Star Wars build. Like, honestly. This is the T-65 X-Wing Starfighter Red 5 by Sketchfox. This was the one flown by Luke Skywalker. So that's really cool. We also have a custom cockpit here, which I, uh, I think looks really good. So let's spawn it in. And we also have an R2-D2. Which turns his head. No way. Look at that. That's so cool. Okay, it is a little clangy. I might need to repair really quick. How do I... How do I turn on the X mode? Ah, oh, yes. Here we go. I'm happy now. I have an X-Wing to play with. Oh, is there no aim assist? Uh-oh. Are you kidding me? This is actually more difficult than I thought. Maybe if I go into first person... Maybe that would help, right? I just think it's more difficult because of the orientation of the uh, the lasers. They're on like the four edges of the wings. Uh, this guy's nearly finished. Where did he go? No. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, there I go. Well, thank you, Sketchfox, for that amazing uh, creation. Let's see what we have next. This is actually the final build. This one is a space station by Mr. Noah, which is inspired by my, um, my spaceship, which I can actually pull out right now. So I actually showcased this in a previous video, the Endeavor. So this one's mine, and you can see the inspiration here. Look, the ring, the solar panel placement. It's really nice to know that you guys get inspired by my little, uh, my little creations that I put a lot of time into. Also guys, is it just me? Or have they, like, updated the things, the overlays on the screen? Look how big those overlays are. Let's go. So this one doesn't have any docking port. It does have a lot of weaponry, though. But you can actually aim that turret as well. <laughs> I love how the recoil is making the ship turn. Okay, that's a camera. We have one and two. Oh, we have bombs on this thing. Two is to open the bomb bay. And then one is to drop the bombs. Nice. Oh, what's that? What was that? A little escape pod? Missile or rocket? I don't know what just happened there. I just press two and then you wait a bit. Here, let me try and get a better camera. Oh, it's a, it's a bomb. <laughs> That's really neat. It's, it's kind of like an orbital cannon. You like, if you hover above a planet, you can just shoot that right down. 
Well, thank you for that one, Mr. Noah. You definitely get the UZ stamp of approval for a space station here. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed checking out some of these spaceships with me. I'm definitely going to do more workshop videos in the future. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.